What's going on, 30 Day SMMA? My name is Justin. Um, I've been a member of the family for about two months. Uh, I first opted into the course through the, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but the rap song advertisement that Quentin and Yovan put up that was beautifully done, uh, got me hooked in. Uh, anyways, ever since I've been trying to build a digital agency uh, targeting real estate agents, and I think even though I do not have a client yet, I have a lot of experience with outreach, a lot of experience on the phone, a lot of experience with running ad campaigns that I think I can help new students um, with. So one of the first things that I want to get across in this video is free trials are so important. And the reason I say, I know there's a lot of back and forth about this within the group. People are skeptical about offering their services for free because it is a lot of work. I understand that. You're going to be setting up an ad campaign. You're going to be following up with the clients right away. You're going to be integrating all these softwares for them. You're going to be testing the ads. And I get that. That's a lot of work. But you have to look at what you're pitching and what you're selling from the business owner's perspective. And the reality is... If you're a new student and you don't have clients and you don't have case studies that are your own at least and you don't have a lot of experience, one, the business owner is going to know that when they're on the call with you because it's very easy to tell when someone doesn't have experience actually doing what they're selling. And two, they're going to not, if you don't have the results to back it up, they're not going to be willing to hand over $1,500 $2,000, whatever you're trying to pitch your services for, a business owner is going to be very reluctant to hand over that money to you without real proof that you yourself know what you're doing. So the reason I have switched over to free trials instead of, you know, pitching paid trials is because one, I get more responses from my clients or potential clients because of the fact they're going to be more likely to respond to you when you're offering your services for free instead of saying, hey, can you talk to me about possibly offering my services for $1,500, $2,000 a month, whatever you decide to sell them for. And two, you're going to get on the phone more. And that's one of the main keys to growing your agency is getting comfortable on the phone. Because if you're on the phone without any experience and you've only been on the phone with a business owner two or three times before as opposed to 10 or 15 times, uh, you're going to be that much more ready and prepared to talk to this business owner when you've had more experience on the phone with other business owners. And, you know, business owners aren't stupid. They're going to know the difference between someone who is, you know, shy and timid, isn't really sure about what they're offering and someone who's confident, someone who's actually done it. So that brings me into the last component why free trials are so awesome is you get more experience doing what you're actually selling, right? If you continue to sell your services to people and when they say, no, you don't offer the free trial option or you don't offer the free, free trial option at all, you're not going to get experience running a campaign. And that's at the heart of if you ever want to build a big agency, you're going to need experience running actual campaigns for the clients. That's where you're going to learn the most. You know, studying the course is great. Studying YouTube is great. But where you're going to learn the most about how to do what you're actually selling is by actually running campaigns. And when you offer free trials, people are going to, business owners are going to be that much more willing to give you a shot. And when you get a shot, you get an opportunity to learn. You get an opportunity to learn about ad sets and split testing ads and writing copy and, you know, campaign budget optimization, all those things that are part of Facebook ad campaigns at the heart of it, at the heart of what you're doing, you're going to have that much more experience if you offer free trials because you're going to get more meetings and you're going to get more trial runs. So that's one thing I can push heavily to new students is free trials, free trials, free trials. Now, if there's an action step that I would recommend today that will help you get your agency off the ground a little bit, it would be LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn is a very strong platform. It's probably, in terms of outreach, I think it's the strongest just because of the methodology behind it. One, it has a very high organic reach, meaning you don't need to pay like Facebook if you want to sell your services to business owners through a page, you know, through your brand, you're going to need to be spending money on ads. It's become an entirely monetized platform. It's absolutely pay to play. 
and it's only going to get more expensive. But LinkedIn is a free platform where even if you do want to run ads, they don't cost very much. And two, you don't need to run ads because you can connect directly with the niche you want. If you want real estate agents, for example, like I do, I can go look up real estate agent, send a connection message, and they'll get direct. And if they accept that connection message, you know they saw the message, the connection message that you sent with them. So that's going to increase your conversions, increase the replies you get. And the second component of that is having an optimized LinkedIn profile. You need a good profile picture. You need a good bio. Uh, one thing I recommend is making it emotional. Uh, for example, you know, I'm a college dropout trying to build my agency. So I talk about my journey as a college dropout and I tie it back to what I'm trying to build with my agency. So, you know, I don't recommend a lot of selling in your bio. Don't sell, just talk about you and talk about what you know, you do, but don't try to sell them and say, if, you know, if you're interested in a Facebook ads trial, hit me up. Like that's just not a business owner is going to look at that and say, oh, he's just trying to sell me, you know, make it about an emotional connection first. And one underrated tip that I've been using in the past two or three weeks to get my presence boosted on LinkedIn is reaching out to fellow digital marketers as well. Not just your niche, you know, spas, real estate agents, whatever. Reach out to other people in your industry and say, hey, look, you know, would you be interested in boosting each other's presence here on LinkedIn? Would you be interested in endorsing our skills? And because of this, I've gotten my top three skills to over 80 endorsements for all three of them. And that's going to make you seem that much more credible when you're sending messages to these business owners. They're going to look at this guy and say, wait, I mean, yeah, he's not a recognized name or anything. Yeah, he doesn't have a bunch of case studies, but he's got 85 endorsements on his top three skills. And those top three skills are digital marketing, Facebook ads and lead generation. So, you know, it's at least worth it to hop on a call with him or respond to his message. So having a, a well-crafted LinkedIn profile, as well as doing the manual outreach required and connecting with people is going to help you get more meetings and is going to help you get more experience. So I hope you found some value in this video. Um, good luck starting your guys' agency and always, always choose pristine. See you later, guys.